that Dr. Dilla has horns, so seeing eyes, a pig snout for a nose, and a, jaw, a lower jaw like a cat. The adapted dealer has a total of 17 body parts. Adapter dealer, also known as Ama Shifter, new animal alert. So if you see anything that looks like that animal around you, just know that it's this BB housemates that created it. So hold them responsible. So they had their Thursday presentation tonight and it was pretty much um it was kind of underwhelming to be very 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 honest with you guys it was a little bit underwhelming because of how they were just like reciting stuff from papers and all but apart from that the work that it did throughout the week was you know impeccable they picked tembas um animal so the animal that you're seeing there was tembas own they had to do like a sketch first each of them did a sketch of different animals like the ones that they created they created different animals so all of them did their sketch and did presentations within within themselves and they ended up picking Timbers on which was nice it looks actually nice we ended up picking our housemate Timbers creation which is right in the middle of our board and decided to bring that prototype to life looks like an animal that i would like to see but like it looks like an alien animal so um that was how they got that particular animal Temba did a good job then after that they now did a painting an individual painting of that timbers own animal which they presented tonight center is our created animal and around is a border uh, which we worked on together as a team to try and bring out our wild side then um last but not the least definitely not the least they had to do like a 3d um Oh, the, a tree version of the animal so they were given materials to do that which they did and they painted it so it looks really good it looks really good they did a good job for like what they did um, prior to this and then like earlier during the week there were certain things that they did like i i think i mentioned it in my previous video they had to um paint themselves like any animal of their choice and act like them they did like a mating game then what else did they do they also painted or sketched different parts of different animals so that's what brought everything together at the end of this whole stuff big brother called them to order said the things that he did throughout the week that he did not like um like and one of it is them entering into a place when he did not give them permission and he has not said they should go in secondly is them going into the diary room uh, wasting time to come to the diary room and he called specific names of the perpetrators he did not beat around the bush. He was not cutting through the corners. He called the specific people that are guilty of this, which I like, so that they know that they are the ones that are doing it, not that everybody thinks that, oh, they are doing it. So he called them specifically. Then another thing that he did um, this week that is, like, you know, commended with the fact that they did not speak the language. It was mostly English. Um, pre pre um, previous weeks, it was, like, a lot of it. So they really um, improved on that. So he now finally told them that they won their wager. But before he did that, commended Yoli and Sister Mara on like it's the fact that he instilled discipline in the housemates this week when he was calling them out he said congratulations Sister Mara and um, Yoli they were already jumping thinking that they won their wager <laughs> only for people that right to now you know commend them and they now sat down like okay well done to the head of house and the deputy head of house for instilling discipline and commitment this week I'm actually really, really happy for them. This is the first time since they entered the house that we need their wager. Two times in a row, they lost and then now they won and they wagered 100%. And, you know, so I really, I'm really happy that they won their wager. Congratulations, housemates. You have won this week's wager. I don't think their winning from this night has so much to do with their presentation. I think it has to do with them. All the things that they did throughout the week because they really worked hard and they were into the whole thing so i think that's why they won their wager so that's it so that's it that's it for their thursday um um thursday presentation task i mean a thursday <laughs> thursday task thanks for watching guys and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'm going to see you on the next one bye love you